Hi, I'm Rob, N1NUG. Today's video is going to be another installment in my ham radio fox hunting series. And the topic for today is going to be this offset attenuator that was built onto this tape measure Yagi by Bill, KC1JTS, who was kind enough to loan me all this equipment for this video series. Now here's a closer look at the attenuator itself. Now this is actually a kit that Bill put together and then mounted in this project box and labeled it up. You can see that up here he's got a coax connection going off to the driven element of the antenna and then on the other side is a coax connection going off to my radio. On the side of the project box Bill has put in and labeled an on off switch and because there wasn't room inside he put the 9 volt battery sort of on the outside with a clip and this also makes it easy to just pull off the connector when this thing is in storage so the battery doesn't end up getting drained if he accidentally leaves the switch in the on position. Now if you're interested in seeing more detail about this tape measure Yagi that Bill constructed there's a link to another video that I made on this very antenna so check that out when you're done with this video if you want to see more details about this antenna. And you can see Bill has put quite a bit of labeling on here so he knows what's what. This is the connection to the radio, this is the connection to the antenna. Turning the knob all the way to the right is minimum attenuation and turning it to the left is maximum attenuation. Now let's talk about how this thing works and do a demo. So the way this 4 megahertz offset attenuator works is it takes the frequency that you're receiving on your radio, in this case 146550, and it adds or subtracts 4 megahertz from that signal and creates sort of a secondary weaker signal at that location that you can use the control on the attenuator box to strengthen or weaken. Now the reason that you want to use an attenuator like this is because when you get close to a transmitter, even one at low power, using a directional antenna is ineffective because the signal is just too strong, you won't be able to get a bearing. So if you kick in the 4 megahertz offset attenuator to weaken the signal, you can then turn your antenna and get a bearing even when you're very close to a transmitter. So connected up to the attenuator I've got my trusty old Alinko DJ1G HT. Now, I like this HT for fox hunting because as you'll see in a minute up here it's got a nice graduated signal meter that will give us good indication of signal strength. Radios like these Baofangs don't really have any graduations in their signal meter. They kind of either turn on or off, so they're not real useful as fox hunting receivers. Anyway, for the first test, just to establish a baseline, I've got the radio tuned to our frequency of interest, 146550. And I've got the attenuator turned on, but because we're directly on the subject frequency, it's not going to do anything. Nevertheless, I'll go over on the other side of the cellar, I'll key up my Baofang, and you should be able to see on the Alinko a full-scale signal. Now I'll tune the Alinko to 4 MHz above this frequency, 150550. Now just to be sure, I've got the attenuator on, and this time I'm going to tune it to minimum attenuation. Even with minimum attenuation, we should see that signal be cut down quite a bit from what it was on the target frequency. And in fact, I won't even go across the cellar this time. I'm going to stand here right next to the bench, key up my Baofeng on low power with no antenna. And you can see we're only getting about a third of the signal on the Alinko. Now if I bring the Baofeng in close to the antenna, you can see the signal rises until it goes right up to full scale when I get real close. Now if I even hold the radio here while it's transmitting and turn the attenuation, you can see it cuts it right out to nothing. Now even if I put the antenna back on the Baofeng and turn the control, I can still null it out even being less than a foot away from the antenna. If I move over here so I'm about three feet away, the signal almost disappears depending on where I hold the radio. So I think you can see how useful an offset attenuator like this would be, especially when you're in real close proximity to a fox box or a hidden transmitter, especially one that's maybe running a little bit higher power and is really well camouflaged. Now that you've seen an overview of Bill's offset attenuator and kind of a demo of how it works, let me know down in the comments what you think. Is this something that you would find useful on a fox hunt? 
or is it maybe overkill for your needs? Or is there some other design or improvement that you think could be made? I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.